Hello, let me share with you today why I believe God understands your personality and considers it as you are led on your walk of faith. You, uh, I'm going to read from Exodus chapter 13 in just a minute. It's the story of the people coming out of slavery in Egypt. And you know the story. Um, the Hebrew people were slaves in Egypt for about 400 years. And they cried out in prayer to the Lord. God sent Moses to be their deliverer. He was to confront Pharaoh and then uh, lead the people out to the promised land. And that's what happened. After many confrontations and signs from the Holy One, the people were set free and they needed to move out of that area very quickly. Let me read what happened next from chapter 13, starting at verse 17. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was nearer. For God thought, if the people face war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people by the roundabout way of the wilderness toward the Sea of Reeds. Notice how God understood the natural inclination of the people uh, and how it was taken into consideration. They're led out of the promised land by a way that they can handle. God knew that if they went by the Philistine way, which was apparently shorter and um, maybe even a little bit easier to travel, but they'd come up against the Philistines who were uh, very threatening to them and they might face war. And if they did that, God says, these people are hesitant people. They may get very discouraged and want to return to Egypt. And going back to the way they were before, would have been worse than going forward. But people don't always realize that. And going forward into unknown territory is scary, isn't it? And so sometimes we break out of a situation or out of something that we don't like and become frightened when we don't know what's going to happen next. We no longer feel secure. We have a tendency just to go back to the status quo. Well, God knew that about people. He took that into consideration and he led these people by the way of the Sea of Reeds instead. Now, that means that our limitations are considered on our spiritual path too. And the Holy One is not going to require more of us than we're able to handle. The Holy One's um, motivation is for us to continue moving forward, to continue evolving into a better, more spiritual life. And so obstacles are not going to be put in our way. We're not going to be led in a way that makes us turn and run back to our old ways, because that is definitely our inclination when faced with a barrier. No, the Holy One knows our personality and makes allowances for our failings in our spiritual walk.